Hey guys, it's me again, Chris, and today I'm going to show you a feeding video of my bearded dragons. Uh, I'm going to start off with this guy first. His name is Drogo. Of course, I've heard a great call Drogo from Game of Thrones. Love that show. Hated the ending. Anyways, uh, it's already around almost 6 p.m., and I'm going to leave the light on for the next half one and a half hour to two hours or so so I'm not gonna feed him that much I'll give him at least eight worms uh, the problem is I don't have anyone who can feed him uh, at the right time of day so I'm not gonna overfeed him tonight just just eight worms should should be enough uh, I normally feed them veggies and dubia roaches but my, my supply of dubia roaches uh, is almost out, so I switched to worms now. They, they do this funny thing with worms, though. At, at a certain... Or, or, or after eating a, a bunch of them, for some reason, they back off away from the worms. I don't know if they get scared or, or, or the legs. The worms have very sharp legs if you may call it. I'm not, I'm not quite sure what it's called. They have very sharp legs that might be the reason why they're kind of freaking out and backing off. But, but I don't think they're getting full though because normally they eat a lot in a 15 minute time period. And that's a rule of thumb. You have to feed them as much as they will eat for 15 minutes. At least twice a day. Alright, so I'm going to move on to Crimson. I'm gonna do the same thing. Feed him the same amount of uh, super worms. So I just watered them a couple of minutes ago too. So you water them at least twice a day as well. They like that. Uh, they get their water from from being sprayed with a spray bottle. Don't give them a dish. You're just gonna, you know, mess it up. They they're gonna run all over it and poop all over it. Now, as you can see. I'm just using a regular cabinet here. This is a cabinet that I converted into an actual bearded dragon enclosure to save money. Again, if you watched my other video with the aquarium, I like, you know, doing DIY to save cash. So this is a great way to to keep bearded dragons. I actually have three of them, and it, it it's going to cost me a lot to have custom made cages for each of them so I got this uh, th this cabinet cheap and then I just made the necessary modifications to turn it into uh, a respectable enclosure so I'll probably make a video about that on a, uh, on a later time I'm, I'm gonna show you the setup and if you notice I don't have a basking light on it's true it helps them digest their food and uh, it helps them regulate their, their bodies their temperature the problem is or, or, or the good thing is here in the Philippines it's actually very hot so the UVA and UVB light uh, should suffice but then when it gets cold I do switch on the basking uh, light uh, for them okay so again here's crimson I'll feed him around seven or eight how, depending on how much he eats as long as he doesn't uh, back off from the worms. I'm gonna keep feeding him. Right? Okay, I dropped one there. So, so he ate it. Good stuff. So I'm gonna see how he behaves. Okay. Come here, boy. I call him boy, but I, I'm really not sure. I haven't really. I don't really have any experience sexing them, so. Uh, I'm gonna try that once I get a bit bigger. Oh, yes, you see now he's not eating it. So I'm gonna switch on to the third dragon. Uh, the name of the dragon is Red. So let me just switch on, uh, switch a camera view. Okay, so now we have Red. He's the one in a good enclosure. I don't play favorites. Uh, I just thought that you know he'd benefit from it since he's a uh, trans uh, and I love the color 
So, so I really wanted to make things optimal for him. It's not that I don't like the two other guys. It's not like red is my favorite, but okay. So I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna go ahead and feed him the same amount of worms. Let me split that one in half. He's even gripping the the thongs. Love it when they do that. I don't really open the the um, the enclosures all the way when I feed them. They might jump. Although with red, it's okay. He's on the floor, so not a problem with that. With the other two guys, you know, I don't want them to get hurt. So yeah, um, that's about it. I'm just gonna feed this guy until the end of the video. You see the water dish? I put a water dish there. Uh, that's where I actually put the veggies when they feed them veggies. Uh, and I'm, I'm pretty sure that uh, Red is gonna back away from from the worms. He he usually he's usually the one who does that. See, here we go. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not sure if he is full or the worms freak him out. I'm not gonna force him though. I'll try to feed him with dubia roaches tomorrow. I, I, I alternate from dubia roaches to the red runners and of course uh, the super worms, the veggies there. Uh, spray them, try to see if he's gonna enjoy it, but for some reason, freaked him out. Okay, I, I know the enclosure is filthy. I'm gonna clean it up after the video. They make a lot of mess. Uh, much like the turtles that I have, these guys poop. You know, uh, they poop big turds. It's like the size of a Pomeranian's poop. I'm not trying to exaggerate or gross you out. It's just the fact. Okay, so I'll be cleaning this up after the video I hope you enjoyed it if you did please hit like and subscribe follow follow my videos or share it with your friends um, and I hope you guys have a great day alright so peace out and good night so with that being said I use a lot of water weekly just to change and make sure that I have a decent amount of